Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Room, and we just watched the new Candyman movie. I'm incredibly proud of us because it came out, I think, Friday, and today's Sunday. So that's that's pretty big that we actually saw this, this, like a new movie when this could it be a record. comes out. I think so. I think so. Um, so? There were like six other people in the theater. Awesome. Five o'clock on a Saturday. Like, that's on a Sunday. Perfect. Whatever. Whatever day it is. Perfect. Love that. Um, there's a tiny cat staring at me with his little Victorian ghost child eyes down here. All right. Tell us about the movie. So, this uh, centralizes around Anthony, who is an up and coming artist who lives with his girlfriend, Brianna, who. I think is like a like a curator maybe or like a gallery manager an agent of some yeah. sort something Shoot. something to do with the art world which we all know is very very cutthroat and very very honest does anyone else see that little cat hand okay <laughs> <laughs> sir um and you can tell you know maybe he's struggling a little bit it seems like he hasn't really created anything in a in a in a minute until he decides to look deep into some urgent <laughs> urgent urban legends around him specifically that of Candyman because where they're currently living is the same location where not too long ago I think they it was in the 70s they had mm -hmm. a Candyman incident Cabrini Greens that is Candyman and as you do in a horror movie, he decides to uh, do the thing you're not supposed to do in the mirror five times and just unleashes something terrible, which may or may not just be his fate or maybe something bigger. You have to watch the movie to find out. Can't really give... I don't want to give too much away. I really don't want to spoil anything that I thought was a really cool... Not like a twist, but like a, a cool realization, I'll say. There were there were there were a couple of things that were real, like when you you thought, and then they confirmed, and it was it was really cool. I thought it was very well well done. Yeah. All right. So, what did you like about the movie? I like the different direction that it took. I really like the segments they did with the. The shadow puppets. Oh, those so it was good. amazing. I loved it. I loved the gore, obviously. I love I love how they really used current events and portrayed them, you know, using the, the story that we all know so well of Candyman. Mm -hmm. It it just it worked out perfectly. It was incredibly sad. But it worked out perfectly. I think it was great. I think I think it was a I think it was a good on. Didn't Jordan Peele direct this? He didn't direct it. Or he was like um, a producer or something. He produced it. I think he helped write it. But yeah, the it, director was I, Nia. I can't remember the last name. I Sorry. Uh, I really love the direction they went. They went and with with the with the with the whole uh, message they're trying to. produce portray through the movie using a classic a classic icon like Candyman to deal with stuff that's going on in the world today. I thought that was ingenious the way they did it. I did I loved the all the all the mirror stuff they did was fantastic in the movie. Um, I, I, I loved it. I thought the I thought it was shot very 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 well and the ending was fantastic. Yeah, it had us both turn and go. <gasps> so it was other. like it was it was really great. I think I think they ended it perfectly, and I really 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 enjoyed the movie. It what was, didn't you like? Um. So sometimes I felt like there was a little bit of dead time, like when Anthony was getting to places when he was walking through Cabrini Greens when he was walking to the one art critics place it was just mm. like come on I'm, I'm so jazzed up and ready for some action and I know something's gonna happen I just don't know when <laughs> and it was just like this isn't Lord of the Rings I don't want to watch on. people walking yeah and it was a two-hour film so like 
We didn't really need all that that travel. Yeah, you gotta cut some of the walking out for sure. Which I mean, it builds tension. I get it. I get mm. it. But like, I was already tense. I didn't need to be more tense. I'm a tense person to begin with. I didn't need. More. <coughs> um, for me, I think the movie could have been scored a little better. I, I didn't like. I didn't like the sound that they. I thought they could have used. I thought they could have done that. I th I thought they could have done the sound better. Just the music that they picked didn't really. I I feel like it didn't really match up with some some scenes. They chose music that really didn't match up with what was going on in the movie, and it just you know. I will counter that with I liked the use of the B sounds, the buzzing. The yeah, that was good. Some of it was like really blatant. Some of it was really really subtle. Mm -hmm. um, a bonus like. There's an element of body horror in this, which is not expected. And if you have that phobia of those tiny little holes, be warned. Oh, man. Be, <laughs> be warned. Be warned. Be warned. But, like, be yeah, scared. it's there. It's um, creepy. It's disgusting. It made me think of a lot of uh, injectable antibiotics that I've helped prepare. <laughs> Like, maybe, maybe someone in the film could have benefited from that rather than letting things go. Don't let things go. If something's off with your body, don't let it go. Don't think it's going to get better and watch it progressively get worse and worse because chances are you're, you're, it's not going to end well for you. Just putting that out there into the universe. The more you know. The more you know. <laughs> um, so what would you rate this film? I really liked this movie. I will definitely watch this movie again. I'd probably give it like a four out of five. It could have been cut down a little bit for my short attention span, but for the most part, it really kept my attention. I really liked the story. I really liked the decisions for the most part that the characters made. There was one particular scene when um, oh, exactly what you're talking one about. of the characters gets locked in a room and is panicking trying to figure out you know how i can exit this room opens up a door to a creepy basement and just goes nope and shuts the door and i'm like thank you finally. thank you finally. finally thank you god um we need that yeah uh i'll probably give this a four out of five i i i, I agree with your four out of fives rating it, it like I said there there's certain parts that could have been cut down you know there's it could have been scored a little better in certain parts but overall it, it was a fantastic movie it was compelling 99 percent of the time you know and it had a lot of it had some good surprises in it some very amazing gore in it, it which was not expect i i knew there would be some i didn't know there would be this much yeah and it was fantastic and there's a lot of stuff i really liked about this i really can't talk about because we're spoiler free but it was a great movie definitely worth the watch um and it's great in theaters and like i said we'll probably watch it again once it comes out i'll probably on buy it. dvd or streaming service or whatever we will more than likely buy it because uh, i definitely would like to watch this again and it had, I feel like, a good mixture of that subtle creepiness, the stuff in the background that you don't pick up right mm -hmm. away until it moves. Stuff. I was like, <gasps> there weren't that many jump scares, which was great because, like, stop doing that shit. Um, there were a lot of things that you just, those lingering shots of things you really don't want to be watching that were, like, right in your face. Not even so much saying it's gore, but, like, things that people did to other people that you don't really want to watch but you need to watch because you need to deal with the fact that it's there and it's present in real life as well mm -hmm. which sucks and it's it's painful to watch and i feel like that's probably more true horror than anything that's why i like fake horror and zombies and shit because i it's very easy to get depressed by the true horrors of life yeah, and that's the thing that this movie did great. It showed you that sometimes the real monsters are regular people. <laughs> you know, are regular. They're not vampires, werewolves, zombies. The real true monsters out there are regular people doing bad things. Yeah. Which is scarier than actual monsters. So. Yeah, totally. All right, tell them where to find us. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. 
at Reanimator. You can find our solo as well as reviews together in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. If you did enjoy the video, you could give it a thumbs up. You can hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams, of which I really need to get on doing a live stream soon. Um, <laughs> Speaking of live streams, you can find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator. You can also follow me on uh, TikTok under Repeat Ray Animator and on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray. And please don't forget to leave a comment. Let us know what you thought of the film if you did see it. Try not to drop any spoilers if possible. Um, yeah, let's not ruin the movie for other people. Yeah, but I'm I, I'm pretty excited now that I can watch like my peers' videos that have spoilers in them now i don't have to like watch half of it and then stop yes yes so, that is always a definite that's advantage. pretty exciting <laughs> that's, that's the advantage to watching movies when they first come out babe so now i can watch um the horror guru and count jacula's review finally yes but let us know your thoughts hope everyone's having a good month it's almost september i guess that's exciting it's almost halloween it's almost halloween that's all i care about it's either always almost halloween or it is halloween there's two <laughs> states of being but hope everyone's having a good night and we'll see y'all later bye bye no 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 no, no. we're gonna record you eating cheese <laughs> this is gonna be this is how we test the mic today is you eating cheese all i wanted was a piece of cheese this morning and you ate all of the lunch meat cheese I don't know when, but I was like, oh, I'm going to have a slice of provolone. No. Negative. You spent how many years of your life not eating cheese? You'd think you'd be used to it. No.